In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best passing plays in Madden 23. It's out of the trips tight end formation. The play we're going to be taking a look at today is drive post. And you can use this play to attack every band coverage, every zone coverage that you are going to get. And we're going to basically recreate the air raid fail concept that is super popular in air raid offenses in real life. Now, again, the play is drive post out of New England. If you're watching this and you want to get my entire uh, New England Patriots trip side in offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10. You're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is down in the description. Drive post, one of the best plays in the entire game. Now, what we're going to do with this play in order to attack um, pretty much anything the defense is going to throw our way is we are going to basically, like I said, create the sale concept. You do not need any hot route abilities. You don't need hot route master. You don't need backfield master. You don't need slot apprentice, tight end apprentice, none of that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our outside trips receiver. We're going to put him on an in route, and then we're going to smart route that in route. He's going to be kind of our check down uh, in this play. Then what we're going to do with Steve Smith is we're going to kind of use him to space the whole field. And so we're going to take him and put him on a zig route. And then with Cooper Cup, I'm going to streak him. He's going to be our primary clear out on this play. And we're going to motion him to the right side of the screen just like so. And then what I like to do with the running back here is simply put him on a block and release flat route. Now what this does is it really spaces the field really, really well. Now if you want to, if you do have outside apprentice or hot run master, you can put Cooper Cup on the post. He can bend that vertical back, of course, um, if you want to. But what you're going to see against zone coverage is we're just going to freeform this uh, kind of over into that little pocket. And as you can see there, if they do have deep out zone knockout, I want to show you this hidden motion that you can use that is a little better against zone. What we're going to do is instead of motioning Cooper Cup to the right, we're actually going to motion him to the trip side. And you're going to see that this is actually going to still put him in motion to the right side. And what this does is it just gives us a little bit kind of smoother uh, of separation against zone coverage. As you can see right there, much different than the first variation of the play. So if you're if you're more of a if they're more running more zone on you, I would really recommend that left side motion. If they're running more man coverage, uh, then we'll show you what to do with that in just a minute. But what you're going to notice again is this corner right is super effective. Now, if they don't go take the flat route, then it's a great little check down, right? If they're going to carry that corner route, then we can easily check down to our running back. Now, most people, when they defend trips tight end, um, they're probably going to respect the fact that you can send somebody quick to the flat on the, on the tight end side, whether it be the tight end or the running back. So they're probably going to play hard flats. If they do that, this becomes significantly more open to the sideline, as you can see right there. They're going to have to be double flatting on that side to take that away, uh, which is then going to open up this left side of the formation so uh once they start to you know have to flat and do all this stuff to kind of take take this away this is where your backside dig come when you pair this with this whip route is really a great little read we're just going to throw that right in the back side of the play i like to highball that in route against zone i find that it does a really good job uh of getting into kind of some of the soft spots in zone coverages so as you can see, they're really easy to attack, cover four, cover three, cover two. Um, you're going to be able to attack zone really well. Now with man coverage, one of the keys with this man coverage play, um, I'm going to show you a couple variations, but really what we're trying to do uh, with this against man coverage is if it is press man, I will actually send Debo Samuel in motion. And the primary reason why is because you will get these random bump like animations in this game that are just terrible so i want to send debo samuel in motion and we'll put him on a streak and what you'll see here is because he has the short out elite ability um it's going to significantly help and he is going to actually kind of run you see how they get that random bump animation and then you see that if they're going to press coverage then we're going to be able to hit them over the top um so that's one of my favorite little strategies uh, for for people if they're gonna if they're gonna go press man we are gonna streak that guy when we motion him across and i just find that to be very very effective okay so that's just a quick little advanced variation on this um because trust me if you don't do that then they are just gonna press you into the ground and your receivers they're gonna bump each other off of their routes which is really really frustrating in this year's game now let me show you this so let's say that now they're you know not doing that so they're they're not pressing so that would be something look more like this right here now what you're going to see is less of this bumping 
and then he's going to light up, and we're going to throw that with a down and a way pass lead where only our receiver can catch the ball. And as you can see, our in route, or our, I'm sorry, our corner route is going to do a really good job at attacking uh, at attacking man to man. So they're going to have to put some kind of purple zone um, or something over there on the right side of the screen. And then this is going to open up this left side of the screen where they're going to have to, you know, we have this little pivot route that we can look to. And then we also have this in route that's coming, a bad free form there, but we have this in route that's coming kind of over the middle uh, to give us a good check down option. So let me show you that again real quick. Um, you know, again, they're going to probably be taking away the corner route. And what that should open up is this backside dig, you know, so you can do something like this. You see there the whip route's taken away, but your backside dig is there for you. And then you've got a chance to make some plays after the catch. So then let's say that their user says, okay, well, you know, we're going to, you know, you know, drop a zone and, you know, we're going to try to take away this. And, and they start kind of over adjusting their coverage. Then what you're going to notice is now your pivot route is going to be open right off the snap of the ball because of the alignment of this formation. You're going to see here they can't really press you and the pivot route is now going to be an option because if they press you, we're going to throw touchdowns on the streak. Okay. So all in all, drive posts, one of my favorite plays in the entire game. There is so many ways that you can use this play to be successful. This post route to Steve Smith, even though we didn't get into it too much in this video, is one of the best play, best routes um, in the game for attacking the man coverage meta. I think this corner route is one of the better plays as well. You'll see here that if I just run just the corner route, um, obviously they're not putting any zones over here. This corner route is super consistent. If I can catch it, it's going to be super consistent against man-to-man. -man. Uh, this play, in my opinion, is the most consistent play uh, with maybe the exception of Pat's YN, uh, but it's one of the most consistent plays for attacking man coverage. If you guys want to get the rest of the Trips Tied In Offensive eBook, make sure you head down to the description below and go check out the Patreon page. $10 will get you access to the entire eBook as well as all of my other Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks so again thanks for watching the video and make sure to head down and go check out the patreon page